Is this better? This seems better. I keep seeing online, I'm gonna go straight to this point. I keep seeing online like Asian guys saying, oh, but Asian, Asian, Asian thing, women always date Asian, uh, no, no, white, no, shit. they always ignore Asian men because of internal self racism, which is true. And they'll date white guys instead, which is true. But the undeniable fact is that a lot of Asian guys you see complaining about this are fucking geeks. Completely and utterly geeks, and I'm, I was one of them. And deep down in my heart, I probably am one of them. To be honest with you, to be honest with you, but I'm not sitting here fucking complain about it. What on earth is wrong with you guys? Absolute mongoloids. You think complaining will get you? These guys that are twenty percent, twenty five percent body fat, they don't have the bright hair style to suit their face. They have like shitty, like ugly facial hair that makes them look like a homeless person. Because if you don't have a full beard or like a, like a, a good outline beard, like um, what well, the Godfrey guy, ga- Godfrey uh, gang, I forgot, Godfrey something. He's like a supermodel, but he doesn't have a full beard. He has like a like a thin beard that suits his jawline, which like he he just, he's like doing mewing and shit. Like if you don't do any of this, you don't just have skincare routine and all that stuff. You can't expect. To like fucking get no get, bro. You can't expect to get girls magically, bro. That's not. It's not gonna work like that. The world does operate off Eurocentric beauty standards. However, there's there's increasingly small like. I might wait for saying this, but there's an increasingly small amount of guys that are even white that are like good looking, black guys that are good looking, Asian guys that are good looking. Like, I, I don't see the ultra hard working guys in the gym working on their skin, working on their hair, working on this, working on that. I don't see them fucking complaining about uh, mewing and stuff. <laughs> I don't see them complaining about, like, dating uh, thing. Dating thing. I don't see them black pill like this. This is just another black pill psyop. It's just, it's just like, just grabbing you by the thing. Like, the guys that are doing, uh, the complainers, like, are comedians. Who are geeks? You like have no physical fitness. I have, no, I have nothing. I have horrible hairstyles. Horrible style. Like, of course. Bombastic side eye, bro. What on earth is wrong with people? Jesus fucking Christ. Ah, oh, don't even put some images on this video. I actually, might you know? I actually might. It's just, it's just so frustrating because like. There is no, like, East Asian, there's Hamza, which is like, South, is South Asian, technically, Pakistani. Ham- Hamza, um, an ultra-popular sophomore YouTuber, he's, he's Pakistani. But there's no East Asian, popular, there's Sho Namoto, I don't know if you guys know him, a Japanese, some proven guy, but he's kind of weird. I don't know what, to, I don't know what to tell you, he's, he's just, he isn't relatable, he's just weird, he's a weird character. Like, he started off as a supermodel, so... It, it's difficult for the average Asian guy to really tr- and truly resonate with this person. Uh, to really and truly, like, you know, relate to this person. Because he started off a supermodel, he was fucking, he, 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 was, he was around, he was, he was around, like, supermodel bitches, and he was, like, he was getting them as well, and he was in the, in the bad clubbing habits. Like, his, his bad dark times was, like, in a club, smoking. And like doing drugs, our bad time is just being alone <laughs> and playing video games, jerking off, and some shit. Like what the fuck? <laughs> That's how it be for us, bomb dollars. Like Hams is a good example of a bottom dweller male who's like legitimately stating himself. He's like a three, four out of ten. So now seven, eight out of ten. He's key. I think he called himself a seven out of ten. And everyone in the competition was like, "If Ham is a seven out of ten, then we're all doomed." Yes, you are all doomed. Like what the fuck? Like I, I, I just, my, I just finished my first week in the gym, or like second week in the gym, and a lot of the guys that that aren't so improving, they know what so improving is. Like what the fuck? They're using their phone more than they're in the gym working out. Like they don't have any time under tension. They're just like, <laughs> like I don't know what they're doing. Like maybe pull ups. Maybe they're doing curls, 
not not with a not with like a negative, just put pure positive, and then they're like, oh yeah, fuck, 10, 10, 12 times three reps, woo! And then they just like go on their phone, fucking watch TikTok or some shit, and uh, end up scrolling, and they wonder why they don't make anything improvement in their lives. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Boxing is oh, this I think I will always recommend boxing, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back next week, so I'm actually excited for this. But I would always recommend boxing for fitness because you have time and attention. You do still have compound movements as in push-ups, pull-ups, squats. You have that type of thing. And you can have, like, you have some, if, you, if, you, if you're in an amateur team, well, you can do this yourself. Like, it's just, it's just you grab a weight and then you just squat with that weight. Like, like, a, like a plate and you just squat with it. And, then, and you just move it around. <laughs> but that's a compound movement, which um, thing trains multiple muscle groups at a time. And... Is extremely effective towards building muscle and burning fat. Like, I don't know, a lot. This is the most annoying thing about the Asian, Asian, like, you know, males online space is that most of you guys are fucking, like, it's, it's intolerable how geeky you guys are. It's intolerable. Like, they, they have patchy beards. Like, I had, a, I had a patchy beard. I think I'm having it as well here, but my camera quality is shit, so you guys can't see it. Like, bro, I had a patchy beard, like, here, like, it, it was extremely patchy. Bro, my mom cuts my hair. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like telling somebody I'm super fat right now. I'll be probably honest with you. I mean, I haven't been doing um, proper workouts. It's not better than these guys. Like, fucking, my mom cuts my hair. I just told her to cut my shit off. Like, Asian guys, like I was saying before the beard thing, either full beard or beard outline or no beard. None. <laughs> None. Like, you're better off with nothing, bro. Like... Why on earth would you like just the why I look here like you you look homeless You look homeless What the fuck is like homeless bro? I'm putting examples Did this Australia perfect examples man Did this Australian influence In one minute, just the neck. You know, you know, how, like the first man is like small neck. Like his neck to thing ratio is smaller, and it's like subconsciously he sees a soy boy. This guy, patchy beard, looks uncanny, looks fat. I can say I'm fat as well right now, 20-25% um, body fat, so I'm really fat right now, so I, I can say it. I can say it. I can definitely say it. Good examples. Why Asian guys go for white girls? Someone says in the comments, as a Filipino guy, most of the Asian women I'm attracted to like white guys. I'm pretty much giving an Asian, up on Asian women in general. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, where's the, um, where's the dang at one? Asian guys... White, Asian girls, Asian guy, dating app, Fong Bros. How my thumbnail is turned off. Oh, here it is, here it is. Buddy, we're gonna go into the nuance of this. His he Honestly, his hairstyle, is, his hairstyle is pretty, like, it looks good on him, but he needs to train, like, his neck. He needs to improve his overall fitness, because this is horrible. Like, you see, like, I'm not even flexing my neck. It's fucking it's like, it's like, it's like thick. Pause. <laughs> Even my hair is shit at the moment. It's like it's like a thick rod. It just it just it's complete, you know. Not like, not like like this. It should be like here or here. If it's too here, it, you look like a pencil. You look like a stick, which is not optimal. Good career. How come he's not happy? I'm sure you guys can hear this. I don't have my headphones. I have my headphones. So, I don't want to hear this book. Geek. He's built like a pencil. Wait, 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 wait. This one. Boom! Geek! Oh my god, bro. He's built like a pencil. A lot of Western media when they they flex with their biceps and they pose and they do double bicep and then you know they're on a yacht they're living that lifestyle they perpetuate this lifestyle it's still attractive for Asian guys it's still like if it was shirtless in this pic with like 
tight gym shorts pause. And like he had good strong like, paw, legs pause. But like you, you could see like there's there's like a, a frame, a masculine frame to his body. He looks I used to be I be, bro, I can put a picture of myself. I was built like this. I was obese, man. <laughs> I was like 40% body fat, bro. I was. <laughs> I had guy, I had titties and everything. It was horrible. So I have full qualifications to talk about this. I put all uh, some images on myself so you guys have context. But you have an opportunity to change. Any Asian guy watching this video, you have an opportunity to change. You have an opportunity to grow. I, 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 slammed my, I slammed my table and I hit my keyboard back. I don't know how. I did it again. Geek! You look like a tech dork. You don't have to be. You, have to look, you don't have to look like a tech dork. You can do tech, work out, compound movement, get the, the masculine frame, have the money of a tech um, billionaire or millionaire, and you can succeed as a man. You just look like a geek. Imagine he opened this window up, you can see the view, he has his, he's shirtless, or maybe he's got like a shirt with a bit of revealing, revealing a bit of skin on, like with the thing here, like instead of being tightened up with his little fucking scrawny neck, like, you could have that instead, and then, he could be looking out with a coffee into the view, instantly more attractive. Show you Godfrey again. I don't think he's the most handsome individual, I'm perfectly honest with you, he just like, he's, he's played the game. Godfrey Gao, okay, Taiwanese, rest in peace. He was a model for Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton, Louis Vuitton. Oh my god, Louis Vuitton. I, look, he isn't the most attractive guy. They, they for sure edited his pictures, I believe. But they made his skin more vibrant. But he has the jawline. He has the suitable hairstyle. He has the physique. His neck... It's pronounced enough at this angle, like it, it, it has a perfect angle. But a bit when he's a bit more straight on, you know his neck. His neck's pretty thick, pause. But like if if I'm like this, you guys can see that my neck goes here. But if I'm like this, like you guys can see like I'm a bit more unattractive because my neck goes like here. So I, I, I don't know. That's just like basic fucking human psychology and shit. Because you look weaker. I don't know. No, I do know. Actually, I I, I do. Know. I'm an expert. I'm like. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just the basics, bro. It, it really is just the basics. Train neck, go to the gym, get a suitable hairstyle. I don't think this hairstyle suits him. Here's the good beard outline. Rest in peace though, he died. Um, apparently they killed him off. Big conspiracy theory. I think it was just being overworked, bro. I can't lie. Stress, overwork. I mean, when you're like the only handsome Asian guy around, it's very, very difficult. Because a lot of guy, a lot of Asian guys want it on a platter. They want it easy. They don't want to work hard. They don't want to grind. They want to be geeks, and they want and they want to expect everything. I, I when it comes to dating, I, I don't I don't understand particularly why this is the case. I don't really understand. Oh, I have a dog and geek. You're a geek, man. Look at look at me in my white flannel shirt. Just, get this brain and shoot off me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. He's crazy. I'm 11, Ivy League educated. What are these OTT expressions of? Like, fucking little girls do that shit. He's got pets. No, a little girl is more stoic. I apologize for the little girls in the world. A little girl is more stoic than this fucking dude. He's got photos of him Two minutes scrappers, though. He's got a good career. How come he's not having any success? What's saying? All right, everybody, we're going to go into the nuance of this. Also, go into what a lot of the other Redditors had and, uh, you know, advice that they had. Also, no, bro, I was taking the advice from Reddit. Ain't no way. <sighs> bro, I got to get popular, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch the entire video. And I'm going to judge them based on, uh, purely on their appearance. Now, I, I, did, I did download the video on my um, phone as an MP3, so I probably will be listing it to it and I work out in the gym and I'll be make, trying to formulate an opinion on them while I'm in the gym, you know, grinding hard, uh, killing myself so I can get the gains and I can look better than all of them. But I, I, I have to say like, I have to get popular. I have to be the beacon, the, the East Asian beacon of self-improvement. Because there's a huge gap in the market for, at the moment for strong 
several uh, guy, guy strong yeah uh, thing intelligent well, no, intelligent actually to be honest with you strong masculine guys in the uh South Korean for East Asian guys there's like zero there's nada there's na there's Hamza South e- South uh, South Asian Southeast Asian South South Asian this way never eat shredded wheat never eat shredded wheat yeah, Southeast Asian too yeah I'm tweaking bro that's like Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, that's, that's me. But there needs to be like a sh- like bro zero to hero type motherfucker around, not a Shonamoto. Like you might have been smoking, but you were still handsome as fuck. Um, right, and he's still handsome, of course. Is he, is he like thirty eight now? Oh, he said. I remember watching that video of him like wasting his twenty. That's a that's crazy. Wasting a decade, like there's free information everywhere. I just bought the Tumblr today. There's free information everywhere. Like you, you have infinite resources. Like Western ideology for some general self improvement, and then when it comes about about feelings, and I I want to feel good. The hammers are I fulfilled my purpose, but I want to go boxing now and training. But I I skipped and I lied and I I want to do business, bro. I'm gonna call it Hamza on this. Bro, Hamza, the guy that was like, I fulfilled my purpose. I think the video was like eight months old, I believe. And then he goes training, and then he's like, oh, I don't feel right in training. It doesn't feel right after like so much anticipation, so much shit talking, and like nobody gives a fuck. He has a, like a cult following. That's what it is. I wish I'm successful in this guy's but. It's like someone needs to call him out on his like some people like uh, calling out on his thing like the new hamsters are the same as all hamsters. Bro, the new hamsters Adonis gang, Adonis school, Adonis academy, Adonis this, Adonis that, Adonis bossa, Adonis black pack, Adonis shirt, Adonis uh, hat, Adonis headphone, Adonis uh, computer. Uh, Adonis. <laughs> like, Hamza is in real time becoming a less relatable self improvement influencer. So be it. There has to be a rise of another zero to hero type individual. I have to be this in um, this character. I cannot bear to see any more fucking losers like this out on the internet talking about but an Asian woman like white guys. Bro, if you are competent enough as a guy, yes, she'll like you. That's it. You're funny. You're charismatic. You look good. Maybe you're, you're not the most looking guy. You're really seven, six, seven out of ten. But you got style. You smell good. You got a, hair, a hairstyle that suits your face. I oh, like this hairstyle right now. Then it's very difficult in order. You know, your low body fat as well, 10 to 15 percent. No, 10 percent is actually kind of fucking grim. 15 percent is good. <laughs> ten, I don't know, 10 percent. Like, everyone talks about 10 percent testosterone drain and all that. Yeah, no, bro. Like, fucking, I'm going bro. Testosterone off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, no, enough of that shit. Enough of the self upgrading jokes, bro. But self upgrading jokes, the, the entire racism. No. <laughs> oh my god, bro! I need to grow my head. Look at him. No. Pretty neck, guys. I'm not saying like flex your neck like this the entire time. But like the first man like highlighted the best. I'm listening to a lot of first man. I really like first man because he's raw and authentic every single time, despite the fact that he doesn't edit his videos and he doesn't like pimp out his channel. He should have an uncut channel like what I'm doing and like a main channel where he's like really and truly pimping out his channel for the sake of views. Okay, I talk way too loud. I'm gonna just keep this on my ears as like noise noise cancelling. Like that's what that's what. A uh, first man should do. I don't. I don't even have his headphones plugged in. I'm just doing it as, as like a noise cancelling thing, but he doesn't. And this is fine. That's whatever. But I really appreciate first man's authenticity. Like, really, I really do. Hamza's current videos are inauthentic. This is a separate video topic, but because they're inauthentic, there needs to, like I was saying before. I'm repeating myself like a robot. There needs to be a rise of another zero to hero, East Asian this time around. Some premium YouTuber or influencer because. With the current trajectory of self improvement, it's all gonna be pimped out. I don't wanna join Adonis Gang. I don't wanna in, uh, join uh, Adonis Academy. They seem good, I understand. I don't think, uh, perhaps within my hubris, I can't even afford, I can't even fucking afford that shit, bro. It's like 5,000 pounds a month or some shit now for Adonis Academy. 
Five dollars I can afford. I might I might try a Donis gang for a video. I think the, was it was a monthly five dollars a month. That's, that's pennies. I don't, I don't really care. I might try out for a YouTube video, but I need to get my my own projects finished first, and then my own business done first because that that is a higher priority than having a Donis gang. He doesn't he doesn't give a fuck about me anyway. So there there needs to be a rise. There needs to be a rise. They're, they're, like I'm, I'm very tired of seeing some from YouTubers, and this space becoming increasingly and frustratingly filled with bullshit. Like I saw Hamza's like newest video, a Jeffrey. Jeffrey's a loser, and it had the same old animations with the same old thumbnails with the same old uh, AI, new integrated AI thumbnail at this point. Okay, sure. Why is no one pointing uh, out him out on his hypocrisy? And because of it, I can't help but not follow him. I rather follow individuals like James Clear and Jim Marco, the individuals that already pour their souls into their work. And they don't need anything more. I think it's the best way to extract value from this per this channel personally. It's it is for views. I don't want to get views, but money wise, I'm not gonna make money off this. Like the fuck, I talk about fucking jerking off and like he's fat and he's a geek and he's a loser, and then I'm a, I, I was a fat, I was a geek and a loser, and you you might call that hypocr hypocrisy, but in personally, and you might call that projecting as well. But personally, I believe that it's not so much projecting and um hypocrisy, and there may be an element of that, but more so, it's like. Hey, I was fat. I was really ugly. It's been a while now. It's been a while since this happened. I'm still working hard. I'm still trying to pursue, pursue my goals. I'm thinking much better. I look much better. I'm not even, I'm not even I'm taking much better photos. I'm looking much better. Full stop. Period. <laughs> what I said. What the fuck? But yeah, that, that's what. That's the message that I want to. I want to push across. Like serious. Ser ser Seven proven shit works, bro. It works all around. I go, you go on the street, for example. Like on the internet, it's warped. Like your perception of individuals is warped because you only see like the muscular guy, the handsome guy, the tall guy, six foot plus, six foot plus. But like you gotta grow. Like one percent of the population, or the world's population, and you could potentially say these people are all millionaires, perhaps even billionaires. That's zero, like that's like more like zero point five and shit. But that's still. One percent population is still eighty million people. Zero point five forty million. Forty million people. Five percent of the world population, which potentially earning, you know, or the top percent, you know, handsome, tall, attractive, whatever, constitutes the top five percent male, the outlier male, like the first man always says. It's still four hundred million people, and you can say yeah, but 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 that's a lot compared to to eight eight billion. Yeah, you're right. No, you're completely correct. But what do you gain in being correct? Nothing. I remember Top G himself, Mister Mister Top G, Mister Mister Tatian, bro. The only and the most important lesson I think you can take away from him is the power of holding a belief that benefits you. It's better to think to yourself, there are 40 million people out there in the world that are millionaires. I can become one of them. No, multi-millionaires. They're living the lifestyle of complete, lavish luxury. I want to be one of these individuals. It's better to think like that than think, oh, but what about the other 8 billion that are fucking broke and fat and ugly and losers? Because the moment you think like that, you become one of them. And it's very, very difficult to truly and genuinely change your thinking. I know, I've been there. I fucking, I fucking know, bro. It's it's so hard to th like think the right way. <laughs> it's so hard. It's monumentally difficult. Seriously. If you're watching a lot of black people, you're content creators. You're unironically watching these videos. I can't bear to watch. I find them absolutely utterly. Not necessarily cringeworthy, but like soul-crushingly, skin-crawlingly fucked. 
I find this video fucked, bro. But Asian guys, you know, the podcast with too many people, too many views. Guys, I think we're all fucked. Give up an Asian woman. Like what? Every time I go to Vietnam, I'm talking to so many guys I don't even know what to fucking do with, bro. Every guy's a loser. Every guy's overweight. Don't walk down the street. Every guy's a fucking overweight loser. Not hardworking. Unproductive. Entitled. And you know what? It is what it is. Honestly, I really don't give a fuck. How. Can you realistically give a fuck about it? Well, guys, I think I'm tired of like I, I care about this channel. I care about the people watching my videos. I care about my community. I care about my family. I care about my friends. I don't care about the majority. I remember my my coach from boxing said to me, like only five percent of the population actually come to fight, to come to spar, to seek, to seek it, to seek the hard work, to seek the blood, sweat, and tears. They were a shy way. And people forget about the 95, 95%, 90, no, no, 95, 95% majority. People forget about them. Perhaps because of survivorship bias. Perhaps because of uh, sunk cost fallacy. It doesn't matter. What people forget to focus on is that people don't fall onto their goals. People fall onto their systems. People fall onto their habits. People fall on their choices. People fall on their hard work ethic. Let me try to explain to you. We have Asian person A. We have Asian person B. Asian person A eats like shit. He plays video games. He watches anime. He does nothing with his life. He's 26 years old. He still lives with his mother. That's fine. It's all, it's all fine. It's all fine so far. He's really where he, he hates himself. He hates his life. I don't know if I've said that already. I'm gonna call him Johnny Chang. Johnny Chang, he's a loser. And then we're gonna have, on the other hand, Stephen Lin. He's a Chad. 26 is also. But from 20 to 26, he was in the gym, he was working out. He did boxing. He wanted that David Devin Haney physique. He wanted that Nayo anyway physique. You know, looking up to his idol. He wanted that lean cut, looks good in a shirt. Leon Edwards, most aesthetic, whatever, whatever you know. You look good in a shirt. You look good shirtless. You look good with clothes. It fits you, but like if there's a shirt that's a bit tight, it hugs your arms. You see the forum pop in, whatever it is, like what, what are you into? What floats your boat? Same age, different choices. He doesn't. Stephen Lynn doesn't fucking touch video games. Are you serious? He doesn't touch that bullshit. He doesn't eat, eat unhealthy. He has he he has temptation in front of him every single day in the Western world. But he chooses not to do so. And then he, because of it, he grows more, literally and figuratively. And becomes that outlier male who has everything. Oh, it's easy for you to say, oh, Asian, oh, Asian, like you have good genetics, you best glow up. Asians have the best glow ups. Genetics, best glow up, just put it. And then, like, the data becomes skewed, your reality becomes skewed. You don't understand what's actually going on. The majority of people are like Johnny Chang, they're not the Stephen Lins. No, oh, Stephen Lins kind of a baby name. Johnny Chang is pretty fucking strong as name. That's the truth. I'm tired of. Seeing the shit. I really am tired.
Asian girl, Asian, uh, Asian girl is they white guys. Okay, they a white one, a white girl. A white woman extremely open minded. And they feel charismatic enough, confident enough, they have enough frame. It's very easy. Plenty of efficiency. Like if you're if you're like being a separate room for a while, maybe perhaps your first year, or a year and a half, and you're in the mewing the jawline, whatever it is. I'm I'm so high body fat, I'm look so I look horribly fat. You're doing that type of shit and you're you're on you're on your grind. You're gonna see female attention, bro. Because you are still incredibly rare. Live in reality for a bit. It might, it might stroke your ego. You might think you're the shit for a week. But like, truly, completely, I live in reality, bro. These guys just. just I, I, see it, I see an obese guy like, every single day. When I was going, when I was commuting to my 9 to 5, I, I see an obese guy every single day. It's a new, new face, new obesity. A new deadly cancer. Like, I don't know why we... This is not celebrated. It's not only celebrated online. In real life, is like, you take too much of the seat on the bus. I'm going to move away from you. <laughs> it's like that. It's kind of horrible to say, but it's the truth. Like, that's how it be. And, like... The, the girls are ruthless. You know? They just won't talk to you if you're like if you're like some fat guy, a fat ugly guy. Like I used to be one of these guys, bro. And as I continue my journey and look better, better overall, and I just leave you losers in the dust that believe in the black pill bullshit. It's it, this is Asian black pill. What's wrong with you guys, man? <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's just like I believe in this shit. That's the the thing that pisses me off the most is that I believe in this shit wholeheartedly. I believe in this shit. I genuinely believe that I was a loser. I genuinely believe I couldn't change. I genuinely believe I couldn't make a difference. Everyone told me that. Oh yeah, you, you average looking. Oh, you're just a bit chubby. I was fucking obese, bro. Thirty percent body fat. Forty percent body fat. I have image proof. I'm not crying. I had itchy, no tears. I had to cry about. I genuinely believed in this black pill bullshit. My naive mind believed in this. I couldn't get another opinion because other opinion wasn't there. There was no other opinion. There was no alpha male Asian guy. Lee took from Super Junior could be like he's pretty. He's a pretty handsome, pretty, pretty handsome guy. Prefer with you. Um, you can say he's Asian Max, but like, this is a fucking K pop star. That's not an epitome of masculinity, is it? You know, Godfrey um, thing, poor him, rest in peace, got overworked because he was like the only masculine Asian guy. I need to at least remember his name Godfrey Gao. I believe that's his name, Godfrey Gao. Got overworked to death because he's like the only handsome masculine Asian guy. I'm not thinking it's a psyop, and if it is, then why, why would they kill their cash cow? Like, it doesn't make sense, like, logic, guys, logic. Like, no, no, UFC are not going to kill off Conor McGregor anytime soon, because he's too popular, he's too handsome, he's too this. No, they're going to keep trying to make money off of him, which is what they tried to do with this guy. But he collapsed due to stress and overwork, the very common, you see in Japan all the time. <sighs> So dumb. I've gotten comments previously on my YouTube saying, like, "Oh fuck, you're handsome." That particular angle, probably, yeah. I look pretty good at the angle. Good hairstyle, flows, low body fat. Yeah, I look pretty good. We're looking good. Remember Austin Durden. That, that um, that um, uh, the really handsome black guy. He's really fucking handsome. Pause. <laughs> Even we waffles rated him an eight out of ten, which is dumb. Like he's he's like a nine point five, bro. 
he is literally perfect bro pause i'm i'm not sipping over dude pause but like he's tall he's handsome he's probably got big cory you know he's 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 hair max look skin max skin smooth cocoa butter i don't know what it is like he's he has like waves and everything i, I want to do a video in the future like best hairstyles for hispanic guys latino guys it's the same thing it's the same thing why is it uh best for latino guys best for black guys best for asian guys best for white guys hairstyles and then gonna, the video is going to end up like ultimately the best hairstyles want to suit your face some shit like that some basic shit like that but it's the truth i'll probably suggest that like, he has like waves like a full developed beard see i saw that tinder video of his is that actually fucking nuts bro like you see this guy He just got to about his Tinder story. I'll go through the point. You're just that. Well, that obviously your photos need to be. Good. Sorry, boy. You just look like a geek, bro. Or that was a geek. Some, they may not even get stuck out from minors. Go quick, you know, women. Where I was like, he looks like a Howard. No, nah, I'm violating, bro. He just looks like a geek, bro. Goes cute though. Wish my happiness. R slash. Bro, how are we gonna get masculine advice from R slash Asian masculinity, bro? Uh, shit is ass, bro. I'm so funny, he's looking at Yeah. And he went on like, pretty sure the statistic was nine dates over multiple accounts. Over like millions of tries, bro. Your effort is misguided. You're chasing casual sex. You're chasing instant gratification. You're chasing attention. You think that because you're Asian, you're suddenly entitled to attention because you're exotic. Why Asian guys think this? And you wonder why they're not chasing after you. You should be chasing your own fucking self improvement. What the fuck is wrong with you? So ass, bro. I think I watched it. Uh, I listened to the entire video as an MP3. Because if I turn up, <laughs> I don't like ads. My fucking thing. YouTube just don't mind me. I just download MP3. You download it. I listened to it as, as, as the entire thing as an MP3 on my phone. But other than that, I, I think I'll just stop. I'll stop with this. It'll be it'll be an underlying underlying thought. I'll edit this video up. I'll put the raw video up, and I'll edit the video up as well on main channel because I think this is a very, very good video. But this this is this is this is this is concerning. This is bullshit. This is of utmost annoyance. Should Asian guys stop using dating apps? Well, guys should, shouldn't be using dating apps in general. I mean, the fuck? <laughs> Me girls in person. Like, the amount of bollocks that it would take to just talk to girls in person is like, it's a different level, bro. And what's the worst thing happening? You get rejected. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not my type. Okay, fine. Someone to say hi. Like, it's like, um, Sea of Testosterone 8 mode. Bro, I'm putting so much work on myself with this video. Sea of Testosterone 8 mode, where he talks about. And the best pickup is like being straightforward and direct, because then you can just quickly filter out girls and any girl that is genuinely truly interested in you, because most girls don't get approached. Like, bro, they'll be on it. Guy and sound improvement. You got like full 10, 10 15 percent body fat. Maybe maybe your shirtless. You're wearing like a vest or like the vest with the with the thing on, with like the flannel on. But like instead of not well, the flannel, but like you know, do, 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 fuck. <laughs> the voice is in my head. No, you got the, you got the um, you got a vet. basically you're wearing some like cool summer clothes that like, complement your physique. You got that on. You got some jewelry. You know some most expensive shit. But, like nice shine looking watch, whatever. So you come up with confidence, charisma. It's hard, bro. It's hard. Bro. You you would you're a dime a dozen. It's the outlier male. It's the outlier male thing. You can get your products at one m dot com streaming platform out now. <laughs> 
I watched way I listened to way too much first man every single day like bro we listen to first man going to work and back um thing back home from work that is is is, is insane and my weekend is just still work anyway so we're gonna be listening to more of him while I'm video editing but yeah I think to close off this video I think that most guys are misguided most Asian guys are the same misguided you know, a lot of us are brought up, brought up genuinely thinking we're fucking losers, not giving ourselves the opportunity to change, falling into bad habits like porn, video games, social media, dating apps, and then wondering why we're not good enough. But the answer is, most of these Asian guys right here, they are not good enough. Low testosterone looking, you know, body fat high, complaining, entitled, like, like, I, I, like I'm reiterating before, it is um, an embarrassment. You know, I'm going around an embarrassment, an embarrassment. Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> it's raw. <laughs> Where's the lamb? I can't do it. Where's the lamb sauce? You, you, you. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. That's how I feel about the situation. It's absolutely, utterly abhorrent. Um, in the state of Asian masculinity. Like, you guys are fucking geeks. And someone... With integrity, someone from zero to hero, like I said before, needs to come up and rise up beyond all this bullshit. I apologize for repeating myself again and again and again, but it's the only thing I can really think about when coming approaching this video. Everyone is a fucking geek in this space, and it's difficult. Like it's difficult, man, because I I was one too, and as I change, I'm on self improvement, following the Western self improvement thing. Oh oh, oh my god, the, the Western self improvement works for every, every guy. Uh duh. Like what? Like, a jawline will be a jawline. It will be attractive no matter what. Like, oh, there will be a difference in hairstyles. There will be a difference in styles in general because we have one more baby-faced, more fat, more fashion styles. But, like, motherfucker, man, you push shit off. Fuck. Like, <sighs> a suit is a suit. Asian guy who's, like, who, who's, like, fit, low body fat, who's, like, he's fucking, he's, you know, he's physically fit, wears a suit, it looks good on him. Black guy, Physically fit, why does it look good on him? White guy, physically fit, uh, thing. It looks max. Every, it, all the guys, it doesn't matter what race you are. It really doesn't. What matters is what choice you make and how much effort you put into actually being your best self, to fulfilling your potential. Like, so many Asian guys are obsessed with their hair. And, you know, I'll be honest, I, so am I. But, like, your hair can only compliment you so much. If you're reliant on pieces, strands, strands of hair in order to boost your your appearance one hundred percent, then your appearance is shabby. It's shabby. It's it's like it's like it's like a power it's like a power dynamic, like <laughs> it's the best way I can describe it. Like an Asian guy relying on his hair for look for for looking good. It's like a it's like a fucking Machiavellian power, a power dynamic. A rule thirty four. Rule, <laughs> rule thirty four. Never let the enemy know your intention. 48 laws of power. Rule 6. Uh, don't let your intentions... I don't know. Fuck some, some bullshit like that. Come on, man. Come on, brother. Power comes and goes. But if you just... But your hard work... It remains there. I'm disappointed. Um, this trajectory is most definitely concerning. Oh, you more focus, man. But I could get, I could get the long hair, and I could cover up, and it would look good on me. But then, like, I wouldn't see the fact that, like, I've gone up in body fat. I would ignore it. And I'll be relying on an angle and a hair when you should be like looking at yourself with most unflattering angles and seeing if you still look attractive then or you still look semi decent then. You know? I need to be more, more of a thing, structure video when it comes to this. I probably will structure this video. I'll film more segments as well.
just want like another like a, to see if I can find that video. Boss Asian dude, boss. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye bye. Leave video. Could I mediocre?